Hey guys, welcome back to Eco, Eco Global Survival. Damn, I messed that up for like the last four episodes when I tried to intro it. Uh, for right now, I'm heading down to the iron mine. I did get some digging done. That's some things taken care of. I thought. Oh. I thought. Oh. Gonna have to bring in some dirt. And wait on this. Yeah, the elevator is not the fastest thing in the world. I need to see what the next elevator size is because, yeah, it's about time for it. I also did manage uh, during my off time to build another steam truck. I dropped that off at my buddy Garth's house. I got another buddy on that plays that I need to get a steam truck set up for him. At some point, I will try to run a road from my house to his because I've already got one from mine to Garth. That way we can have a slightly faster transfer materials. Uh, and because I'm the major production factor, just because of the skill point bias, uh, they I also include with that, uh, it's a steam truck, and then a uh, cast iron stove, softwood lumber table and chair, and four brick fireplaces. That way you can have, uh, and then like, if you don't have the other items, I can, I'll get those for you as well. It's just, that's, that's tier two of what I have. And then with like with Garth, I also dropped him off like 60 pieces of lumber or something like that. I don't know if he's going to be back on. That's the reason I didn't go overboard on the building materials. Because my deal is I play a shitload. Like. I'm playing this game a lot. So, for me to come up with building materials is probably a lot easier than someone who doesn't play as much. <clears throat> also, I grabbed cooking. Because I've been meaning to grab just the regular cooking. And I should have recipes back at the house. Yeah, that was 20. Okay. I did count that correctly. Whoa, shit. Yeah, that was my water pipe, so I'll go back and we'll take a look at those in a few minutes. I've got two systems of water set up, and I realized after I started building it that I needed better, or I needed a higher pottery skill to do what I wanted to do, because that was supposed to be for, like, bathtubs and, um, what am I trying to say? Bathtubs, toilets, sinks, things like that. Well, it turns out you can't do that without pottery at level four or five. I don't remember if I... Sue me. Alright, we're going to do crushed iron level 2, that's 400 is 5 is 100, 4 times is 20, right? Look, it's been a while since I got out of high school. I, I, I sometimes suck at basic math just because I'm out of practice on it. And then 4 crushed sandstone. And these are static, right? Yeah, that's static values. Okay, awesome. And then for the iron, we're going to go with... How much is that going to make? 380... Or 400 iron ore. 24 times is 80. Okay, so 80 iron ore. That's what we'll have all together. I think we'll actually have a little bit more than that. Yeah, we'll have 81, which works out. We're going to do 30. So give us 30 iron concentrates. Where the hell are you picking up iron concentrate from? Or uh, crushed iron. Oh, okay. That's... Okay. You know what? I I'm not going to. 30 iron concentrates, though, will give me 60 iron bars. Yeah, okay. So, now that that's taken care of, I want to go over this real quick. It's because you have to have water. And water is kind of a pain in the ass with where I put my workshop. And I really thought about moving my entire smelting operation. Oh, shit. That's where I left you. Moving it down to the seaside. But instead, what I did is here's my water input. And don't get me wrong. Like, I'm, I'm not doing the uh, environmentally friendly way. There's my water output. It comes right over here. And it's right there. Be all right. I don't run the blast furnace that often. So, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, iron pipes. do 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 Runs under the stockpiles. Yep, okay. Comes out from under the stockpiles, right over here. All the way.
way under this. Yeah, all this got dug out and replaced today. Down to here. Breaks over, comes down around in front of the ramp right there. Goes under the ground. And then this way. And I found out that apparently iron pipes or pipes in general, they count as a full block. So they don't leave a gap in your workshop wall, even though it looks like one. Out here, down here, I probably could have broke off into the ocean earlier, but windmill to power mechanical water pump. Mechanical water pump drawing water from down here. I don't know if there's any benefit at all to going deeper than that. I don't know if there's actually any anything that happens based on um, pulling water out. I... I would doubt it. But if anybody out there knows, please let me know in the comments. I'm actually really interested to find out. Now, I also have, you'll notice, a big-ass column of dirt right here. Which I decided against leaving it there. So now I have a water pipe coming in here. Around that way. Straight down in there, which goes under the road again. Down through there. And you can see my water pump there. It's on. There's the windmill to power that one. And then water pipe. Ooh, don't break that. Yeah, water pipe right here. Coming up into a closed loop because I didn't actually have the stuff I needed to do that. I'm a little annoyed by it. How long you have how long will you burn? Thirteen days. Damn. Four days, okay. Yeah, and I added uh, brick fireplaces to everything. That's my cast iron stove. Yeah, okay, so that probably cut my time in half, but you know what? If it lets me make these things, what was needed for that again? Tallow and what? I feel like I'm not going to be able to make as many of them as I want to. I had. Just, just to let you guys know. Absolutely god-awful levels of clay at one point. Tallow lamp recipe gives 200 masonry experience. That's not what I want. Why does a tallow lamp give me masonry? You're useless then. Go back in the lamp. I think I saw what we're going to have to do. Either way, like I'm, I'm going and getting clay. Round pot recipe produces 100 pottery experience, and I need About 12,000. That'll probably be done tomorrow. See what our bonus is now, because this is the first time I've used that 65.6. It's going to take a while, I'm guessing, for it to catch up. Good lord! That fucking wiped me. I need pottery experience, though, real bad. God damn it. I'm still trying to figure out, like, how I want to progress moving forward in this game. Because there's still a lot left to do in Eco. And I don't really know how to tackle it without just abusing the shit out of it. So, like I say, I've got to get pottery leveled up. I've got to get... I've got to find coal. I've got... Let me let me see if I can figure out where coal would even be. And if I can, we'll go hunt for that first. Okay. So, I'm a little behind. I've been sitting here, staring at this bullshit, going, How do I do this? I needed a coal tag, which is charcoal. And then quick lime. Quick lime, I can do a little bit of, I think. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Uh, no, you're made over here. Where, where do I make quick lime? I remember seeing the recipe. Where is quick lime? No, not there, obviously. Oh, it's here. Okay. So, 
we get to go find some crushed limestone. Or, better yet, just some limestone. Either one works. I really don't care which. Alright, so we've got some steel made. I've got exactly nine ingots at the moment. And I'm looking here. I don't know which one I want to do. And that's bothering me. But I think because of what we're doing. First thing we build with steel will be the pickaxe. Which means that soon I finally actually get to retire this iron pickaxe. That when I got it was the epitome of everything I wanted. My cat is throwing a fit because he's stuck in this room right now. Alright, so we have a steel tool. Now this thing should last twice as long. I don't know if I don't remember if it hits harder. I don't remember if there's more damage associated to it or not. Not that one. That one. Time to be retired. I was debating between the, that and the recurve bow, to be honest. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, what was something that gave me a little bit of trouble? I can't remember. Basalt. Okay, that's a good tester. So we'll take this against a piece of basalt and we'll see how it does. Much faster. Like, you still have to hit twice. But I think before it was six times without the... Uh, <clears throat> or no, with just the perk, it was six times. I did never check it with the iron. Okay, I'm... Yeah. I've gone on long enough about not knowing what I'm going to do and things like that tonight. I'm still debating what I'm going to do next time because I'm starting to run out of things. Again, I've got to pick, build up my pottery experience. Which means that probably by the time you guys come back, I will have some ungodly number of clay pots. I don't know yet, though. I'll figure out some way to level it up. And at some point, we've still got to get back down here. I've still got copper going on. Oh, that's gold. There's still copper down there, though. This copper vein is huge. And I gotta figure out some way to get all this copper out of here. Probably the same way I'm doing the iron. I'll dig a mine, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But that's for another day. And I may even do that off camera. I don't know yet. And guys, I do believe I'll see, everybody, I'll see you next time. I hope you're enjoying Eco Global Survival. Like I say, I know sometimes what I'm doing in the game can be a bit hectic because I don't really know what I'm doing. I am stumbling my way through this, hoping to find a way that works, and you know, we'll see how it goes. It may, it may not. Never know if it's going to pan out, though, until you at least try it. Actually, some of the stuff I'm pretty sure I could know it wasn't going to pan out, but that's an argument for a different day. Anyways, look forward to seeing everybody next time. Until then, as always, have a wonderful night.